we've all had to make sacrifices over the last year or so um, with with uh, COVID and all the other conditions. But you know, there's there's one group that's had to make a lot of changes, and it's newlyweds, and it's Mallory and Zach, and preparing for celebrations such as this. The amount of care and planning, and yes, like I said, spending um, for this day. However, is like no other. This is the day when two become one. Pledges are made to share and spend the rest of their lives together. And most exciting, and I know on behalf of all of us, a new family has begun. And I think that's something really to cherish. So thank you. Um, Mallory has always been pretty picky with boys and never really dated anyone while we were in college. Thank God, honestly. Thank God. But then that quickly changed when she met Zach. Almost immediately, she knew, all the girls knew, and obviously Zach knew that they were meant for each other. They have been inseparable since, and I truly couldn't have chosen a better person to love my best friend. She is, was, and is maybe the most compassionate person I've ever known. I believe her subconscious goal in life is to make people be better or to make them feel better, both if she can do it at the same time. Okay, that's all I need. <laughs> um, Mallory, I'll never forget the day that you came home and you absolutely captured my attention with that one line that only you over the years have perfected to where no matter what I was doing, it got dropped. Now fast forward to about two years ago and here comes that line again, dad, I need to talk to you about something. Dad, well, I've met someone and this is the one. Uh, can you say, not prepared, crushing, what, who is this guy, where did you meet him, what's his name, how old is he, does he have a job, are you sure he's not stupid? together here before a minister of the church and in the presence of this community so that your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. The last sentence from Corinthians, love never fails. Mallory, she, um, she told me that that reading, that passage was one that she has cherished since she was a little girl and that she vividly remembers praying, reading it and praying that God would give her a marriage as, as solid and strong as what is described there. Building a life together under God in love is really at the heart of all the readings that, that Mallory and Zach selected today because it's God's love that they share. It is indeed the love that, that never fails, that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. I, Zachary, take you, Mallory, to be my wife. I, Mallory, take you, Zachary, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad. In sickness and in health to love you and honor you all the days of my life. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. 
may I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Zachary and Mallory Zembrock. Once I was able to meet Mallory, I could see why Zach was head over heels for her. Luckily enough, with their combined ambitions, there's not much that will hinder their aspirations. So Zach, thank you for loving and taking care of our girl. I'm so thankful for you and so excited for our future together. Or for y'all's future together. It's going to be nothing short of amazing. To the Sam Brand. One of the most amazing and emotionally draining things is to give your daughter away, but it's incredibly comforting to know that she married a great man. Peepaw and Daisy and everybody in the Zambrana family, thank you very much, and thank you really for welcoming this crazy Champagne family into your lives. Your successful efforts to raise such a gentleman with incredible manners, incredible work ethic, passion for life, incredible friend and partner to our Mallory, is really an incredible gift for which we are forever grateful. So thank you. Yeah.